The Motrin sweep around the 12 contestants stand on their own small pedestals while jumping over the sweeper arm, which spins faster and rises higher as it goes around. But since this is such a special episode, we're adding something special. We've armed each of our heroes with two balls that they can hurl violently at their fellow competitors. Let's find out how squeaky clean they are with weaponized rubber in their hands. The top seven in this event will move on, with the winner getting a free pass directly to the wipeout zone. The final stage in the quest for that $50,000 grand prize. So, let's get to it. Sweeper, I'm the master of the rotary blade. Aha! You can't sweep what you can't see. Such a role model. Please proceed with caution to the Motrin sweep around. Oh, man, I can't wait to see this. Ow. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Everybody just tossed their balls away. Of course they did. They're good people. You know, this is one of those times when the kindness of Canadians just sucks. It's supposed to be like Thunderdome out there. Calm down, or beyond man. beyond Thunderdome. I, I mean, an Australian wipeout, they fill the water with piranhas and make the contestants box kangaroos. These people don't know how good they have it. Come on. OK, keep it up, guys. Good job. Now listen to them actually encouraging each other out there. Isn't that nice? No. All the supportive crap makes me want to puke. It's $50,000, people. We got our rhythm. Come on, hero. And oh, our first hero has fallen. It's Camo Cundal. Evan, your Wipeout Canada tour of duty is over. How do you know he's not still there? Aha! One down, 11 to go, and the heroes are getting the better of the sweeper so far. And trust me, I don't get to say that often. What part? Trust me. Oh. Oh, man! G.I. Jane, Tanya Doyle is off. Drop and give me one awesome face plan on the way down. Dismissed. Let's go, guys, let's go. The sweeper arm continues to speed up, and oh, there goes philanthropist Cat Ross, the charity worker selflessly clearing the way for others to win the prize. Such a big heart. Oh, no, there goes Dirty Monkey, Crystal Malachowski. Kind of reminds me of something. Oh, we have fun. The stakes are high. Only one more has to fall for the rest to move on safely in the competition. And hot for teacher Wendy Swain is down. The sweeper arm wiped her out like a blackboard. You should always write, please leave on, just in case, remember? Now with Wendy expelled from the competition, the horn blows, signaling safe passage to the dizzy dummy for the remaining contestants. Well, I wouldn't say safe, but passage for sure. Oh, and right away, down goes Crazy Eyes Robinson. So easy to lose focus on the sweeper. Or just lose focus, in general. A quick recovery from Avalanche Andrew. Woo! Keep it up, baby, let's go! There goes firefightress Vernon Belanger. Nice reaction time sliding down the pole. Hey, she knows the drill. OK, time to get tougher on these heroes. Let's raise that arm. This one's for all the boys and girls. Only five remain now. Drill Sergeant Nathan, Joe, Mr. Terrific Triff, Chopper Chuck Scrock, Avalanche Andrew, and Dr. Fish. Oh, Mr. Terrific is down. He's got to be fuming after that one. Hey, keep your shirt on, Joe. Don't let Jess hear you say that. I hope he's OK. Come on, good job, guys. Still cheering each other on out there. Lamo. Oh, man. Adrenaline junkie Avalanche Andrew's down. Looks like Andrew decided to go bungee jumping without the cord. Only three remain. It's time to get serious. The giant spinning sweeper arm isn't serious enough for you. Correction, it's time to get more serious. Ooh. Let's raise that arm again. Ah. Ow! Chopper Chuck Scrop getting chopped down at the knees. Not the master of the rotary blade after all. Then there were two. And then there were two indeed. Dr. Fish and Drill Sergeant Nathan. Only one will get that bye into the wipeout zone. The other will be saying bye-bye and heading out for a ride on the dizzy dummy. Whoa, Dr. Fish just can't nip-tuck his legs high enough to clear the arm. And he takes his medicine with a big gulp of water. Dr. Fish gets completely battered, conquered by Drill Sergeant Nathan in the battle of the Motrin sweeper round. 